So, do you know what we really like doing on this channel? Well, that and building expensive computers, so let's do that. Get, get, get low when the whistle go. And so for the processor, we have a Threadripper 3960X that is 24 cores, 48 threads, and this thing will run you about 1.3 lakhs. So we're building with this today. And so for the motherboard, we got the TRX40 Aorus Pro Wi-Fi. So we got onboard Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and it's got really well-maintained VRMs on the side and reinforced PCIe slots. So overall, a solid, solid option for a TRX40 motherboard. Right, so the Threadripper comes with these screwdrivers included in the box and this is what you use to tighten and loosen the Threadripper. And so, let's get this out of its casing. And there you go, that is the Threadripper. Now this, this orange part stays on, because that's going to slide into that mounting point there, and that's how we mount the Threadripper. Holding it. And now these screws are spring-loaded, that means that when you tighten them, you will feel them getting tight. So you don't have to tighten them all the way. When it's tight, you will know and that's when you stop. So make sure when you are tightening a thread trooper, you don't tighten it all the way because you will know when it's tight enough and that's when you stop. So this motherboard has eight RAM DIMMs. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we got eight six of eight GB each, making it a whopping 64 GB of 3200 MHz DDF4 memory. And that's what we're going to be using. Now, this is not a Gigabyte sponsored build, but we do have quite a bit of Gigabyte parts. So we got the SSD, the Gigabyte 1TB NVMe, we got a Gigabyte motherboard, we have a Gigabyte graphic card. So yeah, a lot of Gigabyte parts in here. So let's put this 1TB NVMe SSD in and we will have our storage. So the NTXT Z series continues to be the absolute freaking flagships when it comes to liquid cooling with a live dash. So you get to see all your CPU statistics. And now I know we're playing a GIF on there, but you get to see all your PC statistics. You get to see your CPU usage, you get to see your GPU usage. So anything you want to do it, you can put it on there. So we strongly recommend getting the Z series when you want to do some liquid cooling. Once again, not sponsored by NTXT on this post, but that's what we're using for this build. We love to use the Kraken series and the Z63 is going to be a perfect, perfect fit for this build. Yeah. <laughs> now, if you look at the product page of the NTXT Z63, you're going to see that this does not come with a TRX40 mounting points. So you're going to be wondering, where are those mounting points? So what NTXT did here is that you don't actually need any extra mounting points with this cooler because if you look at your Threadripper box, they come with a mounting bracket. So you just you just take this mounting bracket that comes with your Threadripper, stick it into the cooler, and that's it. That's it. That's all you got to do. No extra mounting brackets required. <laughs> now for the case, not exactly sponsored by NTXT, but we have the NTXT H710. <laughs> the NTXT, okay, and so for the case, we have the NTXT H7, a beautiful white matte finish and uh, white matte finish and it comes with a USB 3.1 header which is a USB type C port and it has a dual port which is usually not very common for desktops but this thing comes with a dual port and, and like always NTXT does an amazing job when it comes to minimalist build so this thing is very minimal the white stripe is their is their patent identity and it's always there the white stripes there to hide all the excess cables and you get ample airflow in front so that's a 710 now let's put the motherboard in there goes to the case and we hook up the liquid cooler and finish up all the cabling So we ran into a tiny roadblock, so we just realized that we cannot mount the radiator like this because it's this thick and this comes in contact with the motherboard heatsink and so there's not enough clearance. So what we have to do is we have to take this cooler right here, I mean we have to take this radiator right here, mount it inside and then have the fans outside so there's enough clearance. But we're gonna deassemble this, put it back together and uh, this is gonna fit in just fine. Yeah. <laughs> 
Hm? Bylo by. Bude to možná. Ha, ale tam je to moc jiné věci, ne? OK, jo. To power this build, we got the Antic SCG850 SCGs for high current gamer partial plays. So this is our gamer line of a partial plays. It's bronze rated, really good partial play, and gives you 850 watts. So that should be, enough, to be fair, more than a power for this build. And also, it gives the client a room to upgrade if he wants to go for a 3090 or any cards more powerful than that. If he wants to do that, this partial play will be more than enough. So, a fully modular partial play does come with this use. We don't need a lot of cables to go into the back. All we need for this build is the PAR, the PCA PAR for the graphics card, and that's about it because we have no hard drive in this, so no SATA cable, so nothing. We just need the PAR and the PCA cable. That's it. So, super clean cable management with this. Mm. Okay, and now, in the era of graphic card shortages that everyone's running around for graphic cards, we had to send a couple of emails, make a couple of calls, and we got this. We got the RTX 3070 from Gigabyte. We're super glad we got this. It's Eagle OC edition, so it's a it's a bit more powerful than the stock variant. It clocks up a bit higher. It's got RGB in it, and uh, yep, does run RGB fusion and syncs really well with the TRX 40 RS Pro motherboard. And that kind of wraps up this entire build. Okay, so that was a build. We hope you had an awesome time watching this because like always we had an absolute blast making this and our Threadripper build is ready. This thing was close to 4 lakhs in construction costs. So this was around 4 lakhs and this is an absolute video production beast and it can do a lot of CPU intensive 3D rendering which is what this was built for. So Bobby, we hope you're happy with this build and we really, really hope this build takes your studio to new heights and you, and you can do all those awesome 3D CPU intensive rendering with this. And like always, guys, if you love what we do here, make sure you follow us on Instagram. Our Instagram is Drix Official. That's D R I T S O F F I C I A L. We are super active on there. We post on there every single day. So make sure you follow us on Instagram. And if you love this video, hit that sub button and follow us as we build you super freaking computers every freaking time. Cricket baby.